Hi everybody, uh, Martin from Preact again. Um, this is a short video just showing you how Dynamics and Sage 50 can integrate. It's quite common, we get asked the question a lot that um, once the sales happen in Dynamics that we need to feed that information into Sage 50. Um, we use a Redware um, connector for this, as you can see um, in the next part of this. Um, but it's, it's quite common that it's a, it's a one-way or a two-way sync. So if, if an invoice gets created in Dynamics or an order, we can feed that into Sage 50. Equally, if some money gets added against and paid against an invoice in Sage 50, how that can also feed back into Dynamics. So uh, moving on just into the demo, if I just click here, here we have a blank instance of Dynamics and you can see I've just pulled up the Redware connector on the right hand side. Um, you can see um, this this will poll every few hours um, so we can go into say Sage 50 in this scenario and this can also be used for QuickBooks and a few other integrations. Um, you can see on the right hand side here if I just pick the Sage 50 instance and Dynamics just pick customer. What well, is very common that we can then select a day or you can select all of your accounts that you've got in Sage 50. I'm just selecting these three here. And then we click the upload option over there on the right hand side. Once we've done that, you can see it then populates into your accounts table. Just refresh that. You've now got three values in here. Just click into Bob's. The key thing here is on the right hand side, the account number and this field called customer type is customer. The fact that it's a customer, it will then link back to that unique account number in Sage. The rest of these fields in here are all just Dynamics out of the box fields. What we can also do is we can pull in products. So if you can see here in Sage 50, I can just pick a product, I can select a date, I can then click show. And in this scenario, you can see I've got a list of all of my products. So if I just type in this box here, say Cal, it's calculator. I've got four calculators in the system. You can see there I can click process four calculators and then click upload. We go back to dynamics and we look at invoices just over here on the left, uh, products over here on the left hand side. You can now see the four calculators that have come across. We've got the list price and the standard cost on the right hand side. But equally, because dynamics needs a price list item, it brings that across as well. So you can see the amount there appears as a price list item. So that's for £10. So if we uh, just go across now to, once we've done this, we just move across here to Dynamics. And you can see obviously we've got the products and we've got the accounts in the system. Um, if we go across now to Invoices, create a brand new invoice here. We can obviously specify a name. Um, we can pick the customer for this scenario, Bob's Building Supplies again. Um, obviously these invoices and a price list. These invoices can come from a quote or for an opportunity, you know, it can work in the same manner. But we've essentially now got an invoice in here. We can then add a product in. So this calculator that we've just pushed in from Sage and we'll have three of these as well. So we can just save that. So technically now we've got an invoice with those three calculators against it. The key thing here is we've got obviously the invoice ID from Dynamics. We've got the amount, it's three of those at 10 pounds, but the status reason here on the right hand side it says creating accounts. The sales team can go and manually change that as and when they need to and say create accounts or we can do that with a workflow. Essentially, as soon as that says say creating accounts over here, you can see when we look in the connector, we can click on the batch option at the top. These are the batch jobs that probably sync every hour on the hour. We can then go into here and we can then just process this connection. So it's gonna run this one batch job, which is basically updating these invoices. This might take a few minutes, depending on how many invoices you've created in the last hour. Um, but essentially this will then just poll. You can see it going across the top here to say these invoices have now been created and this is okay. Um, you can see, just wait for that to push through. And then if we go back to Dynamics and refresh that, you can see on the right hand side, the status reason says uploaded to accounts. And we've got this Sage reference ID down here on the right hand side that says 135. That's the Sage invoice number. Go back to Sage here, look at the invoices. You can see 135 there for Bob's building supplies. And if I bring this up, you can see invoice number 135 and there's the customer ID number here, which is the Dynamics 365 invoice number that gets generated. So once we've done this, what we might want to do then is pay off some of this invoice. So we could just say this is posted. Um, we might want to pay off 16 pounds of this invoice. So we just click on bank accounts, customer receipt. You can see in here, we pull up the account, which is that BSS01, that's Bob's building supplies. And you can see reference ID 135 is the invoice. 
we're going to receive 16 pounds of this in here. So we can see that against that. Um, if we just save that, the patch jobs in here does the reversal. So where we pull those invoices, you know, every hour this will poll again. We don't have to manually do this. This will set this up. So if we just process this manually, it pushes it back the other way. It polls on the hour, every hour. Um, you can see it will tell you the last time it started there, 11.58 in this scenario. Um, you can see now, if I refresh this, underneath the Sage ID reference 135, we now have this outstanding value over here for £20 on the right-hand side. So we've paid off £16 of this, and that is the outstanding balance of the £36 that was due. Um, a couple of things we can do also in the in the connector as well. You can send out a few PDFs as well if you need to. You can do that from there. Um, you can set up monthly billing plans. Um, or we can do it from Dynamics if you wanted to send a PDF from Dynamics as well, either or. But it gives us both functionality if we need to. Now, thanks for taking the time to watch the video today. Hopefully that's been useful for, for you. Um, like I said, if it's Sage 50 or QuickBooks, the Redware Connector can do both. Um, but if you like what you see, um, please feel free to get in touch and uh, we can answer any questions you may have. Many thanks.